Welcome to the Build Your Brave Career Podcast, where we flip the script on the tired stereotype that women in and around the tech industry have to be stressed out, overworked, and underpaid. I'm Nicole Trick Steinbach, the International Bravery Coach and your host. Forget what you've been taught. Bravery is not a personality trait available only to the brash. Bravery is a skill and you already have it, which is great because building the skill of bravery is the most powerful way to creating the career and life you really want. As you build your brave, you will stress less, work less, and then earn more. This podcast will help you do just that. Let's dive in. You open your calendar on Monday morning. You instantly feel stressed and out of control. Maybe you feel angry, frustrated. You start ruminating. With all these meetings, when am I actually getting work done? Then you go into your email inbox. It's also overflowing. Suddenly, you're clicking from meeting to meeting, getting more and more stressed, watching the work pile up even more, and the cycle just keeps building. Your stress is up, you're overworking, tied to your laptop, you're chasing alerts on your phone, and you're ruminating about work all the time. It's awful, right? I mean, As I was reading that out, I felt it in my soul as well, because it takes me right back to those days, those times, those jobs, that phase in my career. And I'll be frank with you. It's really easy to blame someone else, your employer. That's just how the culture is. Your manager, oh, so toxic. I'm just trying to make sure they're successful. Your customers, so demanding. And your colleagues, incompetent. And you're right. There are behaviors and assumptions that drive your stress, fill your calendar, pack up your inbox that could be changed. And also, that's out of your control. If you wait for them to change, you've given up all of your empowerment, all of your power, all of your opportunity. You've just given it right on up. And that is not brave. Because have you looked, have you reflected on the most powerful person in this entire dynamic. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about you. In your stress, your overwork, you are the most important person. Welcome to Radical Responsibility. Radical responsibility is a concept about moving from blame and criticism, disempowerment towards actual responsibility for the results that you are not just experiencing, but you're also co-creating. It's about making that shift from being the victim, woe is me, to taking responsibility, I own this for your career for your life, for your results. In the last episode, my friend, former colleague, and fellow woman in tech executive, Christine Kern joined us. And she shared a lot about radical responsibility. And I want to take us even further. Christine posed a very brave, very powerful question, which was, have you asked yourself the powerful question, what is my part in this? Or a consulting client of mine actually phrased it this way. What is my role in this outcome? (laughs) Such an amazing consulting question. Answer those questions. 
calendar, packed. When am I going to get work done? Ooh, how have I contributed to that packed calendar, to that overflowing workload? What's my part in perpetuating this from week to week, month to month, quarter to quarter? What's my role in this consistent overwork? Answer that first, and then step into the Build Your Brave framework. Get clear, get moving, and become who you really want to be. By answering that question in your own brave, unique way, and then answering it again and again and again. Now, this is not so that you blame or you shame yourself. I love how Christine says, and she said it in the podcast as well, this taking the sword and falling on it from the outside, shoving it in to your identity or your soul. That's not what this is about. Radical responsibility and Christine's role modeling of it in the podcast, it's about empowering yourself. It's about Placing yourself in your leadership role. It's about taking control of what you can actually control. It's about making the brave changes in your career and your life. This does not mean you alone are responsible because that will lead you down the overproducing, emotional labor, burnout, exhaustion, because you are not responsible for every aspect. You cannot control how someone else behaves, but you can take responsibility for yourself and how you behave. If you're like so many people, including former me, I can feel her inside of me. You may be feeling annoyed and defensive. You might even be getting angry. (sighs) That's true and that's real. Part of the Build Your Brave framework is feeling your way to success as much as you do working your way towards it. Because if you are annoyed, defensive, perhaps angry, it's because you know there's some truth in this and you just don't know what to do next, perhaps. So let's take an example. Let's go back to being overscheduled. We start with the basics. Number one. Did you know you don't actually have to accept or attend every meeting you're invited to? Calendar apps actually have a decline option for for a reason, for this reason. Your employer, this is a brave, hard truth. Your employer and your manager are not responsible for managing your calendar or your workload. You are. And until you raise your hand, taking radical responsibility, being brave and putting yourself into the center of what you control, and you say, hey, I have too many meetings. I have too much on my plate. I'm working at a much higher or much broader level than I have the capacity or the skill level to do so. Until you craft that level of clarity and even more, Until you identify what is actually going on in your job and what is an extension of your job, until you establish your availability and you craft your initial boundaries, until you talk and share those with your manager and you agree on expectations, until, and most particularly, you hold yourself accountable to it all, With love, no one has a problem but you. You are co-creating the results. Stressed out, packed calendar, overworking, no boundaries, and nobody knows, nobody needs to care. They just see you grumpy and stressed out. And remember, stressed out people, they don't get promotions. They don't get significant raises. Again, is it fair? No. Is it real? Yes. So, we come back to the question. You need to audit your workload, audit your calendar. You get clear about what belongs to you and what is an extension. Too high or too broad? You'll most likely realize 
You're doing other people's jobs. And oh man, have I been there. In fact, I know so many women in and around technology are there. There's an entire free learning video and workbook combination called the Accountability Triangle on my website. You can't find it. Send me an email, nicole at tricksteinbuck.com. This is free and it is very effective. You take a deep breath. You have that crucial conversation with your manager. You make it clear. You make it concise. You make it specific. You reach agreements. You reset expectations. And then you follow through. You use that fancy decline button in your calendaring app. You answer an email for things that are outside of your scope, not with the information, but to forward it. Throw that person who's actually responsible on the two line. Hey, thanks for reaching out. This work actually belongs to Sally. This work actually belongs to Nomad. You truly sign out of your mobile work apps. You actually shut down, shut off your laptop. You go into your personal life and you stay there physically and mentally. Radical responsibility is very brave. It is a process like building the skill of bravery that never ends. It only matures and deepens over time. You start with one question, one answer, one choice, one moment. Then you go from there. Over time, 2% at a time, you begin to see the results, the outcomes, and the dynamics of your entire career and then life shift. You open your calendar and it is your version of good. You have the time you need to do your work and do it well. You eat lunch, you connect with colleagues, you build new skills. You enjoy your time in your career. And then you enjoy your real life your hobbies, your friends, your family, your self. And that, those are the results of building your brave career. If the Build Your Brave Career podcast is helping you flip the script in your own career, if it's helping you reduce your stress, work smarter, or create more income, please share this with a friend. Till next time, you are already brave. Now go build your brave.